That's awesome! <laughs> it was like a treasure hunt. <laughs> Bite people's heads. Never really? Now that's history. Dramatic music. Tofino. I'm getting on a boat to solve a mystery. And it's all due to one man, Tibbs. Fred Tibbs is one of the most unique BC eccentrics. In, in a world where all citizens worry about becoming the same, Fred was completely different than everyone else. In 1886, he settles in Tofino and buys his own island. Buys an island. Buys a very small island, Tibbs Island. There's a couple different names. Dreams Island, the name he gave. I met up with Roland Arnett, who has lived opposite the island pretty much his whole life. Hey, Roland. Hello. Nice to see you. Good to see you. Come on in. You spent time on, on the island when you were a kid? It was a bit of a curiosity. I remember going and looking in a little clearing and, and seeing the old castle, which I did. He built a little uh, wooden castle with a tower for his home. It had like little turret things at the top. He clear cut the entire island, uh, but he left the largest spruce on the island standing. And then built a scaffolding all the way to the top to a platform. And he would sit up there on the platform and he would read books, he would write poetry, and he would entertain the locals with his cornet uh, on a daily basis. Uh, he liked to play uh, Come to the Cookhouse Door Boys at 8 o'clock. That was one of the local favorites that everybody remembers. Could the locals really hear his cornet from all the way across the water? It got me thinking. What we want to see is if we can play a cornet and see if you can hear it from your patio here. <laughs> to get to the actual site that you want to go to, you have to go around, just around the end there. Now I should warn you, I've never played a cornet before. So here's the cornet. Wow. <laughs> okay, so that's a trumpet. I wasn't actually allowed to play Tibbs' cornet. Roland, it's Bob. How are you? Oh, pretty good. We're just on the rocks now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna serenade you. All right, I'm listening. Did you capture that? Yeah, I heard it very well. It was beautiful. Yeah. Nice. That's awesome. <laughs> Mission accomplished. We skipped over to Morpheus Island, which is home to Tofino's oldest cemetery. I was hoping to find where Tibbs was buried. He was servicing all the harbor boys that guided ships through the sandbars, and he was out working on one, and his boat drifted away. He continued working on the light, and then he carefully took his clothes off, draped them over the railing, and dived in afterwards to get his boat. Tried to swim for it, but he decided, I guess, the current was taking it away. So he swam toward the Clackwood Spits. There were apparently some Japanese ladies there that were digging clams or something. When they saw this guy coming out of the water naked, they got scared and ran away. And then he crawled up on the beach and collapsed and died. In loving memory of Frederick Gerald Tibbs of Tofino, died July 5th, 1921, age 35 years. He left a mark on the community that's still reverberating almost a century later. Tibbs. <laughs>